my name is Zoe Richmond. I'm the interim clinical director for the LOC support unit. Um, and my role in the initiative was to support the development of cues, the writing of cues, alongside NHS England and um, members of the clinical council. The cues is the COVID-19 urgent eye care service. It's an urgent eye care service delivered in primary care optical practices so that patients that are presenting with um, urgent eye complaints um, can be seen in optical practice and we help to control the spread of infection and the risk of um, COVID spread. So Cues provides remote consultation in, in primary care um, and it makes use of technology um, to minimise um, contact time with the patient. So it supports delivery in a very safe way at this um, during the pandemic. Um, so Cues is a temporary service put in place to support urgent eye care problems in primary care. Um, but actually, I also see it as um, a service that will support the recovery as well. So, so when routine site testing stopped, um, there was a need to understand the impact of that on the public and on our patients. And so we work very closely with sector bodies, um, the AOP, FODO um, and ABDO, and quickly identified there was a need for some essential services in optical practice still. So that's um, the essential site testing services for key workers, but also there was some essential um, eye care that needed to be delivered that fell under the um, banner of more urgent and emergency care that would typically be presenting to optical practice and with our closed door policy um, they would no longer be able to be managed in primary care so cues was the solution to that cues does um, recognize the need for, for video calling and greater um, connectivity and NHS England have supported um, the offer to optical practice to get NHS Mail for every optical practice that gets involved with cues, and on the back of that, you get a video um, video call function. So that's available to every optical practice that delivers this. So um, the the other technology that um, we needed to look at is um, the remote consultation. So um, and the virtual review of that of that data that you might capture. So, you know, there's, there's, there's two ways of, two types of video consultation, isn't there? There's one with the patient and to have, you know, have a, a remote consultation by telephone or by video directly with the patient themselves. But actually Cues also invites um, other um, clinicians into that consultation. So you might get an ophthalmologist coming in to offer advice and guidance, and that might be immediately into the consultation. It might be that you provide the ophthalmologist with some data for them to perform a, a virtual review of. And that's where that next stage of that um, technology comes in, because in some of the early adopters to cues, they can actually um, transfer full OCT images across to secondary care colleagues for their um, opinion. Across the country, we already had a number of optical practices that were delivering beyond um, site testing alone. So, you know, the idea of um, extended services, extended primary care services isn't new. We've got lots of um, practitioners and practices delivering this already. And what Cues does is, is introduce it in um, a more standardised way um, at pace and scale across the whole of England and um, with a standardised service specification. Um, we're not asking practitioners to work beyond their own scope or their own competency. But what, what Cues does deliver is um, allowing more clinical care to happen than in, in the traditional model in primary care by working in a different way, in a more integrated way with secondary care colleagues. So it allows a greater um, number of patients to be fully managed in primary care by um, bringing in ophthalmology advice and guidance um, from the hospitals. But actually also with that, with, with inviting practitioners to network across primary care. So um, Cues introduces the um, optometrist with independent prescribing with higher qualifications and the concept of actually referring between optical practices. So if you're, um, if you're providing a remote consultation to your own patient and through that remote consultation, you feel that um, you were perhaps not the best place clinician to, to, to deliver the face-to-face um, appointment should it be necessary um, 
then you've got the opportunity to book that patient in with a neighboring optical practice that perhaps has a different a practitioner with a higher skill set or higher qualification or a different piece of equipment maybe um, so it allows you to work in a more networked way with within primary care but also within in a more more partnership approach with with the hospital eye service as well so it's fully integrated I think we've got a lot of models where we work across primary and second secondary care and we work with our hospital colleagues but we haven't very often thought about actually how we work differently as a network of optical practices at the time of writing the service specification we were thinking about queues being a, a temporary service for the duration of the pandemic and but also to support the recovery and, and and it's written into the service specification that it is a tool for the recovery as well but at the time if i'm honest with you i was thinking about the recovery would being six months 12 months something along those lines we're really much clearer about that now recovery means um two years as a minimum you know we're going to we're going to be in this for a long time so so i think Hughes is here um for at least the next couple of years um but it won't be necessarily being delivered in its current form for two years you know we're, we're inviting local systems to evolve cues to work within it but to to to, to broaden it and do you know everything they they can to improve it to develop greater more integrated care for their patients so do i think it's here for the future i absolutely do